Hello everyone, Chris Room with the Room Insurance Agency, licensed independent insurance agent located in Cincinnati, Ohio. Currently hold a license in 18 states. Today I'm gonna to show you what goes into a life insurance policy. You hear great rates advertised, but will you get it? Well, we will help you determine what rate you're going to get and what might happen if you apply for a policy with me or any other agent. Um, there are a couple of different options that can happen. You can have an accelerated policy. You might have traditional underwriting. There are some instant decisions. Accelerated and instant usually are a little bit costlier because they're a little bit higher risk than a traditional where you have um, a blood draw, urinalysis, and somebody comes out and does some health screening questions for you. But here are the different scenarios that go into getting a quote and getting an accurate quote before it goes into underwriting. Does it always come out exactly as quoted? Not necessarily, but at least it eliminates some surprises and you're aware of what can happen if uh, your rate changes from the quoted rate to a different rate. Sometimes it can go out in your favor. Sometimes it's not in your favor. So I'm going to show you a 20, 30 and 40 year old quote on Johnny Fictitious here. He is a 41 year old male. His actual age could be 42. Just depends on the insurance carrier and when the birth date falls. It's usually a six month window. Sometimes they'll age you up a, a, a year if uh, your birthday falls on a particular date. Here are some optional riders that you can add to some policies. Uh, you can add an accidental death benefit. So if you not only die, but you die from an accident, it will increase the death benefit. You can do a waiver of premium. Uh, something happens where you can't pay your premiums. That would uh, might be helpful. Return of premium is a popular one with some people. Uh, you get your full premium back if you outlive the term. Usually has to at least be a 20 year term for that to work and you have to be a certain age. And then you can add a child right or two if you have some children and you just want to add 10, $20,000 on for them just in case the unfortunate could happen. Uh, you can certainly do that. We're going to go rider free though today just to show you some rates. Um, I can enter health class if I didn't have any information on you. We're going to enter a health profile. We're going to pretend you are six foot. Uh, we'll just do six foot. 200 pounds. Yeah, that's a little bit overweight, maybe, um, you know, but pretty healthy overall. If you've ever used tobacco, um, there is going to be some additional questions here. Uh, if you quit one year ago, your rate's going to be higher than somebody that quit two years ago and so forth and so on. If you quit five or more years ago, usually you get the you can get the preferred best rate class if everything else works out in your favor. Let's add some health details. Uh, we can check out. These are all factors that will make sense to you in a second that go into rating you up. So these aren't considerations that people think about typically. Okay. So height and weight, if you're a six foot, 300 pound, you're going to be rated higher. I can tell you that right now. If you've ever used tobacco, you're going to be rated higher if it's been less than five years. If your blood pressure is not in control, you're not taking medications, but you have high blood pressure, you're going to be given the standard rate versus the preferred best. But if you are in take or if you are taking medications and everything's in good, your readings are good, you can still get a great rate with uh, these these policies. We're going to go to cholesterol next. If you are not taking medication and your results from the exam come back with high cholesterol, you're probably going to get a standard rate. Um, if you are taking medications and your cholesterol is good, you can still get a preferred best rate, believe it or not. Here are some of the family history questions. If your mother or father, sister or brother have died before the age of 70 due to um, cancer, diabetes, heart disease or stroke, you could possibly be rated up. I'm not we're going to pretend like your whole family is healthy. If you don't have a brother or sister, you don't have to. You just answer no to these questions, obviously. And here's some big ones, too. So this is driving record, driving violations. DUI in the last five years probably can't get you coverage. License suspension in the last five years, they're going to want to know why. If you've had a plethora of motor accidents, that's a red flag to a life insurance company. You might not be a good driver and that increases the risk for death and they might rate you up because of that. If you speed a lot, that is a higher risk for accidents as well. So if you have a lot of moving violations, that's a red flag that can increase your rates. Reckless driving, that's kind of like a DUI. So if you've had a reckless driving, that's a red flag as well. So I'm just going to click get quotes now. 
And this should give us an idea of where you could fall. I have a feeling it could still get preferred best rates because you've got a great driving record. Your family history is good. Uh, you just have high cholesterol and high blood pressure, but it's in control. So as you can see here, preferred plus is the best rate that you can get with a carrier. And this particular plan has a $237 annual premium, really inexpensive. So if you live for 20 years, which 97 to 99% of people do, uh, you simply paid for a what if situation. If you were to unfortunately pass, it'll pay $250,000. If we go up to 30 year, it's $386 a year. We'll see if a 40 year is optional with this company. So you could get a 40 year term and it's $856. So a 41 year old will have a policy until they're 81 years old. Again, if you pass away in that 40 years, the death benefit is paid out. If you don't, the money is going to the insurance company. All right. So on top of that, we can go to a $500,000 policy. It's $1,627 a year. And then we can go all the way up to a million. We could go higher, but here's one for $3,166 a year. So you are putting away $3,000 a year for a million dollar payout possibly. All right. So I'm just going to go back to more reasonable terms. Uh, 30 year, we can go down to 500,000. You can see it's 683 a year. And if we go to a million, it's 1280. And if you want to just do a 20 year term, again, this is going to be your least expensive route. You'll have coverage from 41 until 61. Maybe you plan to pay off your mortgage in 20 years. So a 20 year term, your kids will be growing up. So, you know, it just depends on every person is different. There's not a set in stone, um, number for a death benefit, but you can see we can go up to a million dollars and it's pretty inexpensive for a 20 year term. So I have a form at chrisroom.com. If you come to my website, chrisroom.com, I have a, a life insurance page. It's chrisroom.com forward slash life. And here is the form. You can also go to chrisroom.com and the get a quote page. And this is the form that pops up. It's pretty generic, but it goes over a lot of the questions that can eliminate surprises in underwriting. That's my ultimate goal. I don't want to give you a, a fake rate like the advertisers do out there on TV, internet, and radio. Um, they usually give this preferred best rate on a 10 year term. It's just 10 year term is rarely enough unless it's a loan repayment or something along that line. Um, usually 20 to 30 years is a better option. And then you can see there's just some different types of policies that we can uh, quote you on. Uh, this is just generic. Um, you know, if you want to just have a simple number, 10 times your income is a good starting point. Uh, 15 times is probably a better option. Uh, you know, that's going to help leave a legacy for your family. If something happens to you, uh, you want them grieving. You don't want them to wonder what they're going to do with their, their next house payment. You can choose 10 year to 40 years. It just really depends how old you are when the policy starts and whether you can get um, the different terms. Uh, here's the tobacco question. Again, it plays a huge role in rates. Family history can have a, a factor. Um, if you're into adventure sports, you might not be able to get a policy. Uh, and then your driving record plays a factor too. Some medications can play a factor. It kind of paints a picture for me about your health. So any of this, uh, any additional information is helpful. You click submit when it's filled out, it comes to me. I'll run you some quotes similar to what you're seeing here based off that criteria. So again, my name is Chris Room. I'm with the Room Insurance Agency. And what I've shown you today is what goes into getting a life insurance policy. We have accelerated underwriting policies where you can get an instant decision sometimes. It just depends on the amount, the years, the age, all that fun stuff. Uh, I always say traditional is the best way to go. You will give a blood draw, a year analysis usually, and if uh, you'll answer some health questions. And then they do a background check through medications to make sure everything jives. And that helps determine the underwriter to get you the best possible rate. And if there's any type of surprises, the form questions that I asked that I ask are helpful in taking out those surprises. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, you can give me a call. You can come to the bottom of any of my pages and fill out a form here, or you can fill out the form and I, I'll know to give you a call. So again, Chris Room, Room Insurance Agency. 
license 18 states. Happy to help you out and look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.